This is a stimulus update and daily news report. And with everything going on in the country, Americans continue to call on Joe Biden for another stimulus check. But will it come? I'll give you the latest stimulus news like this. $1,000 stimulus checks go out next week. Is one yours? One new city is giving out $500 a month. No strings attached to a guaranteed income program. I'll give you the latest of what's going on with the Build Back Better plan. Show you a live video clip on Fox News between a Democrat and Republican arguing with each other. Also, should we be concerned about the new Omicron variant and how is that going to affect us moving forward. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So out of nowhere, this new variant comes about uh, Thanksgiving. There is no news. And then the day after Thanksgiving, uh, we have all this crazy news with a new variant coming out. So Biden restricts travel from South Africa and seven other countries starting Monday from this new variant called the Omicron variant. Are you concerned about this? Have you heard about it yet? Here's a quick video clip explaining more about it, and we'll talk more about it on the other side. Well, Sarah, the Biden administration will restrict travel from South Africa and seven other African nations starting on Monday. The White House said this is being done out of an abundance of caution in light of the new COVID variant and on the advice of the CDC. Now, the travel restrictions do not apply to American citizens or to lawful permanent residents, though they will still have to test negative in order to travel. Now, the White House said it is in close contact with public health officials in South Africa. We're told the president has been briefed on this situation as well. The administration pointing out that it has shipped over 13 million doses of the vaccine to the countries that are impacted by these new travel restrictions. And it said it's working to help South Africa boost its own vaccine manufacturing capacity. But as of Monday, the U.S. will join roughly a dozen other countries in restricting travel from South Africa, as well as those seven other African nations. Guys. So what are your thoughts on the new Omicron variant? Is this something to be concerned about? We supposedly at this moment, we don't know too much about it, but it's uh, being spread a lot faster than the Delta variant and the other variants that have come out. Let me know your thoughts on that. Are you concerned about it? Let me know down in the comments below. So Americans continue to call in President Joe Biden for another stimulus check with inflation on the rise and all the other problems, uh, utilities going up and everything like that, food prices going up. A lot of Americans are wondering, is there going to be another stimulus check. And this article right here, is that it? Democrats warn Biden's spending bill isn't enough to satisfy party base. Basically, they're saying that although the infrastructure bill just passed and they're working on this $1.75 trillion Build Back Better plan, uh, that bill does not have any stimulus checks in it. And Democrats are wondering there should or warning that there should be more to it to satisfy the Democrat base. What are your thoughts? Should there be another stimulus check in there? According to the petition, $2,000 per month to every American fourth stimulus check, currently at 2,969,000 signatures so far, uh, and still no fourth stimulus check or general stimulus check. A lot of different smaller state and city stimulus checks. I covered it yesterday in yesterday's video. I went through all 50 states, talked about all the stimulus programs and stimulus checks that other states are offering, but so far no general fourth stimulus check. Uh, in terms of universal basic income, $500 a month without strings, Bay Area's latest guaranteed income program. So uh, South San Francisco is the latest Bay Area city to offer cash payments to citizens. Basically, uh, what's going on here is South San Francisco this month sent out the first $500 monthly checks to around 150 low-income families to spend it however they see fit. So this is part of that uh, universal basic income program or guaranteed income program that a lot of different cities are doing. Uh, I guess this is the latest one. What do you think about $500 a month? Is that a good amount? Should it be more? Should it be less? Should this be expanded to all cities and to everybody? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. Also, this article right here, $1,000 stimulus checks go out next week is one yours. So this is actually talking about the California Golden State stimulus check, where it could be up to $1,100. So title, headline, sort of misleading. They are $1,000 or $1,100 or $1,100 stimulus checks, but you've heard a lot about those. Uh, so another round is, uh, well, starting November 29th, a round of stimulus checks will be sent out. 
Uh, so that's in a couple of days. And I guess not everyone has received it yet, despite, every, uh, despite, despite them saying that it was all going to be sent out uh, weeks or months ago. Uh, so when it comes to the Build Back Better plan, what's going on there? So here are the hurdles for Biden's Build Back Better plan when the Senate returns. The Senate is, the Senate is returning on Monday uh, and the House as well, I believe, or maybe the day after that. And they're going to try to get it together. We'll see. Supposedly, uh, they're going to get it done by Christmas. Lawmakers also face December 3rd deadline for the government shutdown. Looks like the debt ceiling deadline has been extended until the 15th before Christmas. Some are saying until February. Take a look at this video clip right here of the Republican and Democrat debating about the Build Back Better plan. President Biden's social spending bill facing a final hurdle in the Senate. Democrats hope to pass it by Christmas, but that hinges on winning over two skeptical moderates, Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema. Here to talk about it are Steve Moore, a former economic advisor to President Trump, and Austin Goolsby, a former chair of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Obama. And thank you so much uh, for joining us today. And before I get to the spending bill itself, uh, I want to talk about this continued civil war within the Democratic Party. And I want to read to you something that AOC wrote, Alexander. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in the New York Times. She wrote, the entire reason that the Progressive Caucus gave their votes for the infrastructure bill was based on direct promises from the president as well as direct promises for, from more conservative Democrat holdouts and from House leadership as well. So if those promises don't follow through, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to get votes on anything moving forward. Uh, Steve, I mean, that sounds like a threat. We've kind of seen it before. Is it going to work or do you think Manchin and Cinema are going to save the day, if you will? Well, if Ma Manchin and Cinema are not welcome in the Democratic Party, I'm sure the Republicans will take them. <laughs> Look, I think this is, there's not just a civil war within the Democratic Party. I mean, this is a, a war between the two parties right now. I've never seen anything quite like it. That bill that passed in the House, which I think was one of the most atrocious bills I've seen in the 35 years I've been in Washington in terms of its damage that it will do to our economy and our small businesses, that bill passed without one single Republican vote. I mean, that's not the way this is supposed to be done. Uh, I, I, don't, I think the last thing that this country needs right now is another three to four trillion dollar debt bill and tax bill that I think will disable the economy. So I hope Cinema and I hope uh, Joe Manchin, I know are watching this show, stand firm against this bill. Mm. And Austin, I'm sure that you believe uh, uh, three trillion dollars would help the economy at the moment. You I presume uh, are supportive of that. But again, this civil war that's getting in the middle of it. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think Steve overstates the case. We just passed a trillion dollar infrastructure bill that Steve opposed and thought was terrible. And it was done with bipartisan support with Republicans and Democrats. I think the Democratic Party has always been a bigger tent and tried to incorporate more divergent views. And that makes close votes like this more difficult because when you got 50 votes in the Senate, you got 50 vetoes. Um, I think on a technical matter, I don't think AOC's claim that they, that the House only voted for it from promises in the Senate. If you remember, Joe Manchin said at the time he would not pre-commit to a bill that he didn't know what was going to be in it. And they, they hadn't specified what was in it. He wanted to get a CBO score. So I think it is going to be smaller than what the House passed, for sure. And we'll just have to see mm -hmm. what, what it is. Well, that CBO score came through $367 billion over 10 years. But some people put that figure as high as $1.6 trillion. Steve, that's a huge discrepancy. I mean, how do you, how do you join those? Well, you know, the, the bookkeeping that the Congress is doing and the accounting, I mean, if any private sector company tried to do this, they'd throw the CEOs in jail for fraud. I mean, what basically the Democrats are doing is they're counting uh, five years of spending and 10 years of revenue and saying, oh, this thing pays for itself. And even even with those uh, sham accounting tricks, they can't get the numbers to add up. But but look, yeah. the, the worst thing about this bill, in my opinion, is the tax increases. You know, we would have, according to the Wall Street Journal last week, if this bill were pass, we would have the United States of America, the land of the free, would have the highest tax rates on small businesses in the world. I don't. How in the world is that going to create jobs and, and create a better economy uh, very, for the United very States? Interesting. I do want to give Austin a chance to uh, rebut that. We don't have long left. What do you say, Austin? <laughs> Well, it, it, that, that's not true. And Steve knows that that's a misleading <laughs> characterization of the bill. 
If you look at the tax cuts of the Trump $2 trillion tax cut that was unpaid for, it didn't generate the kind of GDP growth that, that Steve is talking about. The fastest growth year under Donald Trump before there ever was a pandemic was only 2.9%. So let's try to get back on an investment program where mm -hmm. we can get health care costs down and child care costs down. Well, meanwhile, well, we, did have the lowest, we did have the lowest unemployment rate and the lowest poverty rate in the history yeah. of the United States, Austin. So I, I like because the Because they inherited one of the lowest <laughs> I've, ever. I've got to leave it there, guys. We've got to move on. I hope we get to continue this at a later date. I think one thing we can all agree on is that all eyes will be on Mansion and Cinema uh, in the coming days. They hold the keys in their hands. Thank you both so much for joining us. So what are your thoughts? Both the Democrat and Republican brought up some great points there. Uh, who do you side with more? Do you think this bill should pass as is? Is it fully paid for uh, or is it not fully paid for? We don't know which side to believe here. Both sides are pointing to evidence showing that it is or is not paid for. I don't know what to believe. But what are your thoughts on all that down in the comments below? And that is all the stimulus news I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Hi guys, this is Belle, this is the tip of the day. What you should always do is think of something positive in your mind and stay creative. Because if you don't do those two things, you'll... You'll not be, like, more creative and stuff. Because you need to exercise your mind to be creative and stuff. Like, I found this. Now I'm doing it. You need to find something creative in your mind that you can do. Dabba, 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 dabba. You need to find something creative in your mind that you can do. Thank you so much for watching. So today, Saturday, is actually my Thanksgiving because my wife was working a 24-hour shift on Thursday, actual Thanksgiving, so we delayed it until today. As you can see, I'm not in my normal office and I'm at a family member's house, so we are going to celebrate Thanksgiving today uh, and just kind of hang out around the house. Just us, nothing big. Uh, just hang out and relax with each other. But hopefully you're having a great weekend, a safe weekend as well. And take care. Or actually, if you want to check out any of my latest videos, click up here or down here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.